Alright, here's the first coat. Um, it's a little bit more green than I initially wanted, or should I say it's a little bit more darker. I should probably have put more thinner to really lighten it up. Um, but it's okay since I'm going to go over other layers and stuff. Not sure exactly what to think yet. Not exactly pleased with it yet. Um, I'm thinking about whether or not I want to actually try a few other things, like maybe experiment with some hot glue gun, uh, hot glue on the inside, um, and just scrap the whole foil on the inside, and then put maybe uh, maybe get the inside really really textured up a little bit, um, or not, and then maybe give it different colors, uh, different uh, paint colors on the inside actually, to really give it some variation. Um, so. Still very much a work in progress and stuff, so we'll uh, just have to see how it turns out after this first coat is dry and see where it come what happens after that. But um, so after this will dry, we'll do another coat and see how that turns out. All right. Um, I decided to scrap the idea of the foil because as much as I liked the idea of a textured, it was kind of cheesy and without like I guess extra lighting to focus on it and stuff. The effect is kind of um, weird and odd, um, so I thought I'd try something else. Now, I decided, but I did decide that it, without it, it was really cl clean. So I thought that I needed more texture and stuff. So as you can see, it's drying, but um, now there's actually texture all over the inside and such. Um, now, how did I do this? Um, now, if you were into art projects. There is a resin style powder mix that you use for like seaside water, dioramas and stuff like that. It clears dry, um, or dries clear, I'm sorry. Um, and uh, that's what you would normally use. Me, I thought I would experiment um, differently. And if it doesn't work out, the worst case scenario, I clean the inside, which is where the texture is all on. And um, that's what I go after. What did I use? Um, I use I use clear hair gel, <laughs> um, and then I use the foil, and then I spread it around, and then I just kind of, um, what do you call it? I uh, I kind of just uh, splotched it around to uh, to call, to give it a lot, a whole bunch of texture and stuff. So I just kind of patted it down all over with some of the sides of the foil and stuff. So and that's what gave that. And um, I'm I'm a little bit more pleased with this. Now it's not all just clean and such. Um, and in the light, it's not so bad either. You can see as we get closer to a light source, you can see some of the blue I actually mixed in, uh, which is unfortunate, which means I should have just mixed, um, if I cleared, I put more clear in it, it probably would have came out a little bit more lighter, which would have been great. But it's okay, because we're still going to add more layers. And then if we put it up to the light, it has a really, really nice effect. So, you know, except for that ugly seam line. But otherwise, um... I'm overall fairly pleased with it so far, so, and, um, obviously, um, I'm not exactly sure if hair, hair gel, cl um, will actually even, like, dry on its own. I know it won't in that container. So what I'm going to do is, but I do know that if you leave it, it kind of gets, some um, softer, rubbery almost. So I'm going to leave it to, um, kind of dry a little bit like that, and then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to see if I can track down some hardening agents and or, um, see if there's anything I can add to it to kind of harden it. If not, what I think I'm going to do is, since it's already kind of be rubbery and everything already, I want to seal it. I'm going to use a very heavy load of clear coat on the inside to kind of seal it and stuff. And I'm hoping that um, if I do that, um, it'll kind of give it a rubbery, vinyl-y texture on the inside, which is perfectly fine with me. Um, and then after all that's good and done, I, you know, it's all sealed and everything, well, then I can paint the inside and the outside with different layers and hopefully get a really good color mix going on. Um, but, yes, so foil, um, scratch that foil. <laughs> uh, but it was used, balled up, um, to texture the surface. So I, I did, uh, so that, it did have its use there. But otherwise, yes, so we're going to let that dry and then we're going to see um, how it turns out and then we'll just see if, if that, uh, was such a great idea of mine, or, or um, you know, I will clean it all up and then I'll go to the hobby shop and I'll buy some of the uh, clear resin gel stuff. Alright. Alright. 